think if I'm if I'm thinking about when we're getting to kind of the postdoctoral level, there are lots of things that are kind of trying to get people to show, and some of them you can't show on an application, some of them you have to show in an interview. But I think it's really important to show off your communication skills. So communication is not just about talking, but make sure you write well, because that's a really important part of what's going to happen. And something else that I think you it's hard to show on a piece of paper, but it's really important to get across in an interview is your ability to see the big picture. So it's very likely that you've done some excellent research on a particular topic during your PhD, and there'll be lots of other people who've done that. But what really sets people apart who are going to, and I don't think this is just for academia, I think this goes broader than that, is the people who know why that piece of research was important, how it sits in a much bigger picture, and all the other pieces that are needed, even though they didn't do any of them. And I think that's quite hard to show, but I think it's very, very, very important. And then the last bit, and I think this is a purely coming from where I, the work that I do, is having this kind of, acceptance and willingness to, to learn but also to be wrong i think a lot of people get very defensive if you suggest you know what did you get wrong how did this not work but by definition if what we are doing is brand new a lot of what we do will fail and be wrong and that's actually fine and the most important thing is to be able to recognize that not to run away from it because sometimes it's really interesting to know that something doesn't work or you know i made a mistake and so i think those are skills that it's hard to get on the piece of paper. On the piece of paper, it really is show your core knowledge, your understanding, you know, and you can show off some of your communication and big picture by the other things you've been involved in, the talks you've given, the posters you've pre presented, the work you've done that's broader than just your own topic. So basically demonstrate that you're ready to think about research in that way. I think what's exciting nowadays is with social media and blogs and things, I think it, it, a good way to practice your science communication in the bigger picture is creating a blog or doing a YouTube video or something like that. I think that that probably will help a lot as well. Yeah, I mean, I think that's it. Show it off somewhere. And don't worry about showing it off because if I'm trying to hire you, I want to see that. I want to know you want to do these things and you're good at it.